I dropped over to get a coffee and think it is a great place to show you the process of subtracting multi-digit numbers. We start by stacking the numbers on top of one another just like in addition. The larger number goes on top. Make sure to line up the place values as well. Starting in the ones place, we can subtract without borrowing. A rhyme I use is is there more on the floor, then I need to go next store and get 10 more. More on top, no need to stop. Looking at the ones place, there is more on the floor. I need to go next store and borrow from the tens place. Cross out the four, make it a three. Cross out the one and make it 11 because I have added a group of 10 to the ones place. Now we can subtract the ones. 11 minus seven equals four. Now the process starts all over again in the tens place. Is there more on the floor? Yes, so I go next door and get 10 more. Cross out the five and make it a four. Cross out the three and make it a 13. Then subtract 13 minus nine for an answer of four. Finish off with the hundreds place. Four minus three equals one. So 541 minus 397 equals 144. Here's another example they may trip you up because you have to borrow across a zero. Start by stacking the numbers. I look to the one place and see more on the floor. So I go next door. Oops, the tens place has zero. I have to borrow from the hundreds place. I cross out the six to make it a five. Then cross out the zero and make it a 10 because we just borrowed 10 groups of 10. Since we still need to borrow from the tens place, we cross out the 10 and make it a nine. We cross out the three and make it a 13. Geez, that was a lot of work. But now we are ready to subtract. 13 minus eight is five. Nine minus nine equals zero and five minus one equals four. 603 minus 198 equals 405. Remember when subtracting if there is more on the floor, you go next door and get 10 more. I am going to find a spot to drink my coffee. Have a great day.